Okay, we're now in uh, video four of this Watch Me Blog series for WordPress. And I have um, done my keyword research with you guys. We studied our SEO content template to decide what kind of content we should have on the page. We created our 25, I believe we did 25 um, heading paragraph headings, right? Our H2 tags. And we submitted that order to crowd content for um, writing our content for us. And as I explained in the previous videos, um, I believe this, this uh, portal is very good for the Wikipedia style, just general information writing. Um, I do own a marketing company and I think if you want the flavor and the personality, you want your content with the SEO in it, you want us to do your links and all of that, you might want to spend a little bit more and have us just do the whole thing for you. You also can write your own content, as I said in the previous video. So if you have not watched video one, two, and three, you might want to go back and check those out in the playlist uh, so that you can see how we did the legwork to begin with. Now, we've got our content. Um, let me show you in crowd content just so that you know. Um, here it is. So I ordered 2,000 words this morning and it reported that it was going to be a four day turnaround and I got it back in a few hours and it's actually just fine. Um, it's, it works really well for what I'm doing. And if I want to expand on any of these things, I certainly can. Um, so here, here's what it looks like when you get the content back from crowd content. Um, and again, if you're looking for the link for crowd content, just go over to Lori's tools.com and all of the tools and the software I talk about are all in links right here. So you can go one by one by one and set up trials and try everything out. So there's the crowd content link right there. Okay. So, um, when it comes in, you can review it and you can decide if you like it or not. Typically what I do is, um, I'll do a quick scan and then um, I'll do a spell check on it. So let me show you how that works. So we take the whole content and we go over to Grammarly. And let me log in here. Okay, and new article. We're gonna paste it right here. And I'm just going to go ahead and save this cosmopolitan Las Vegas. And what you can do here, um, the bad news is when you, if you put this in Grammarly and you do your, you fix all your spelling and your passive voice or whatever you want to do in Grammarly, you're going to lose things like your H, your heading tags. You're going to have to go back and make those heading tags again. Um, and I'll show you what I'm talking about and your links won't be live. You're going to have to fix those up. So, that's the bad news. Um, so you might want to look at it and go, oh, this needs fixed and actually fix it on the, um, on the blog itself. But what you can see here is there is a plagiarism checker, which is awesome. So turn that on. And what Grammarly will do is it will show you if seven or more words are put together in a sentence, it'll warn you about it. I don't see any so far. I was going to show them to you. I don't see any. Oh, hold on. I think I just saw one. Here it is. Unoriginal text, 12 words. So you can look at the sentence and go, okay, I, it, that they didn't copy that. That's just the way they put that together. It looks like a, it could be a pretty standard um, uh, sentence out there. So what you're looking for is blocks, paragraphs, multiple sentences, anything like that that's been copied. I can tell you on, um, on crowd content, I've never had a, a duplicate content issue. I've never had anybody copy and steal content. So it's not an issue. Um, for me with this company. And so it'll also tell you if you're missing any commas so you can fix your punctuation. Um, it'll, it'll tell you if so, a sentence is in passive voice and you can change that if you want to. It's, it, it's up to you how you want your, uh, the reading style to be. But overall, this is pretty good. So let's just say I have fixed it up now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to crowd content. I'm going to grab this content right here. I'm actually going to just copy I can copy here or I can go get the HTML and copy it. Either way. I'm going to go to, oh, let me log in. We're going to go to uh, create new post. Okay, so new 
post. Okay, now you'll remember from videos one, two, and three, we set our paragraph headings already. We made them H2, heading two. Now, if you copied this in here and those headings, those, they did not stay large and bold like that, and you need to make them headings, tags again, H2 tags again, just highlight it. And right here, this will drop down and change something to a heading one. Whoops. Heading two. This is if you're using WordPress. Heading three. Okay, I want these all to be heading twos. Here's why. There's heading threes in here too. Oh, I don't think we ordered it on this one. We did it on our earlier. Um, heading three might be this. So Cosmopolitan Las Vegas Jobs. Let's say I want to go ahead and post. Um, uh, uh, casino jobs. Um, wait, server jobs. <laughs> I didn't think about what that's called. Um, housekeeping or maintenance, whatever they're called. I really am not sure what it's called. Housekeeping on the hotel, but there might be a more proper name. Um, anyway, let's just say I did those. I could make those now H3 tags, and those would be like the little subheadings, kind of like an outline, okay? Just to give you an example. But the reason why I do the H2 tags is a couple reasons. One, still a search engine optimization and SEO best practice to use heading one, one heading one tag and multiple heading two tags. And then if you want to use heading three, four, five, six appropriately, you can't. Another reason I do this is because I use a plugin called Table of Contents Plus, and it's right here under my settings, uh, TOC Plus. And uh, if you go to YouTube or you go to the Bound Method lesson plan, there's another, um, I have a lesson plan on how to uh, create a table using, I'm in a table of contents using Table of Contents Plus. I have all the instructions in there, step by step, how to set it up, everything. So I'm not going to do all that today. Go to the other video or the lesson plan for that, okay? Now, here, watch what happens when I click preview. From here, you see it's just a regular blog post, but watch what happens when I click preview. There's going to be something extra on the page. See this? You can see that's not there. This here is just the sidebar, but you see that? That's not there. This is the table of contents. And you can put a title there if you wanted to that says table of contents or this blog includes or whatever. This is table of contents. You can even put little emojis next to these. Okay, let's get let's grab an emoji. We can use an emoji plugin if we want to and put a little emoji in there. Okay, now let me show you what that looks like. Hold on. I actually don't care for this. Um, for this plugin much. In, in fact, let's not use that one. Let me show you a better way. We're going to go over here and we're going to go to get emoji. Okay. And you can actually type in here. What are we trying to find? Uh, jobs. So type in here something like job. Okay. Nothing. Uh, person. Person frowning, person climbing, person bouncing a ball, person cartwheeling. Um, raising hands. I bet we could find person at computer. Computer. Oh, come on. Okay, I would have to do a little studying. So let's just say we want to take uh, a job. Let's just take this steaming bowl of food. <laughs> I'm going to copy that. I just want to show you what it does. Um, sometimes I do spend a lot of time finding my emojis. And so watch now what happens when I click preview. See that little um, bowl of food there? Okay. Let's do another one. Go to get emoji restaurants, let's grab a taco. If you're not a fan of emojis, I certainly understand. Um, don't use them, but I will tell you that this will help your content stand out. Um, 
quality user experience and I'm going to show you something else it does really cool in a couple minutes so you see how those how it breaks everything up really cool I, I really do like this a lot um, Las Vegas jobs Las Vegas buffet oh gosh I got all these food ones don't I so what looks like a buffet um, a spoon could have been the restaurant taco could, could be I could reverse those so let's put this one here now, now I'm on a roll so I want to do it because I said start to finish Okay, parking, so let's go to emoji, let me close this, uh, car, let me try parking. I always try the actual word first. Oh, fountain, roller coaster, monorail, Ferris wheel. Okay, so I want a car. Race car, railway car, oncoming police car. No, I don't want those. Okay, here we go, oncoming automobile. Okay, we'll do that one. Okay, club, so now we want a person dancing. People with bunny ears partying, that is perfect. <laughs> I'm in Vegas, remember? Okay, so we're gonna take that one, <laughs> that's awesome. Okay, weddings, so now we need a bride, or a bridegroom, or whatever, bride with a veil. Oh, a wedding. Look at that. I'll do that one. It looks like a little church. That's cute. Uh, spa. So let's see what we got for spa. Nothing. Massage. Oh my gosh. They actually have a person getting massages. That is hilarious. How is she getting a massage? Let me see. Oh, I didn't want that little sign there. I don't really see how that's a person getting a massage. They look relaxed. Okay, I don't know why I'm getting that little people sign there. So um, let me just make sure we're, let me preview, make sure we're still on track and that everything's working here. Oh, see this happens sometimes. This is the pain in the neck with these emojis. If you put one in that doesn't work right, it actually ruins all of your emojis. Now let me see. And I have to go back and do them again. So oftentimes I'll go in and I'll do the first and I'll save them. Yeah, they're all disappearing on me now. All right, well, you know what? Um, for the sake of time, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna number these instead. Actually, no, we'll just leave them blank for now. You may see me come back and, and, and um, fix all these because I really do like the emojis, but here's what I think I need to do. See here, watch, get, let's, let me show you. Get emoji, let's go back to um, job. Let's do uh, money, we'll do money for job. Okay, so um, money, let's do, let's do the money bag. I really need to click on the money bag and then I think I have to highlight it from, let me try that one, I think from the Apple sign to get it to stay where it doesn't mess up. Oh, mercy. Man, such a pain today the emojis are. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll just save the one. Oh, look, some of my other ones are back. Yeah, it's so weird. You're gonna have to play with this. Some of them, work, some of them will work straight out of the first copy and other ones won't. So I'm gonna go, I am gonna make sure that these all have emojis in them. But let's keep going for now, I can come back and do those. Okay, so a um, couple things, we need a title. So the title of your blog post is the title that's gonna appear in your blog directory. This will also be the title that feeds out to the search engines if you don't have any other tools that feed it out, which I do. So I'm gonna show you how to change the title in Yoast 
and um, with a schema plugin, and I'll show you why in a minute. But this is important for um, if somebody were to search your blog, um, you know, they're actually on your blog site and they use that little search bar, um, or they look at a directory or site map, this is the title that shows up. So I'm going to put Cosmopolitan Las Vegas. And then I'm going to put the jobs, the clubs, the buffet, and more. Okay. Now, here, this is your the domain name for this blog post. So this is your my main domain is ballonvegas.com. And then this little slash, what comes after that slash is a slug. It's called the slug. So you never want this to be numbers like that or any other kind of um, parameters like question marks or um, symbols. You want these to be words, okay? So what we're going to do, and we can edit this in Yoast as well after we're done, but I'm going to show you from top to bottom. So from here, we want this to include the keyword. Um, the top level domain here, keywords don't aren't as relevant anymore for exact match keyword phrases, but after the slug, they still have some sort of, uh, of, a, of a small part in the ranking factors for Google. So we're going to keep, we're going to do it. So Cosmopolitan Las Vegas. Okay, I'm going to keep it short. All right. Um, you know what, I need to put, um, I need to put another category here. So hold on a second. So this is a blog post, and this blog post needs to go under my Las Vegas Hotels category, which I didn't build yet. So all I have to do to add that is I'm going to go over here to the left, and I'm going to go to Categories. I'm going to right-click that and open it in a new tab so I don't lose my spot on the blog post. Go to Categories. I'm going to add a new category. It's called um, Las Vegas Hotels, and the slug is going to be Las Vegas Hotels. And the parent page is going to be my living in Las Vegas category. Okay. So Las Vegas hotels is going to be a subcategory of living in Las Vegas. Description information about Las Vegas hotels, what they offer, their restaurants, clubs, pools, buffets, rooms, parking, and more. Okay, now we're going to click Add a New Category. Okay, now my category is there. So I'm going to close out of here for a second. In order to see this category on the right-hand side, I need to save draft of my blog post. So it's kind of like reloading it. Um, but when I reload it, now this category will show up on the right-hand side. So where do I want to put this blog post? Um, I want to put it in my hotels, the category that I just added, and it will be blog featured listings, things to do best, Las Vegas, all categories, there we go. Um, it's in my living in Las Vegas, there it is, Las Vegas hotels. So Cosmopolitan's Las Vegas Hotel, so I'm going to put it, the category there, okay? Now, tags. Um, tags are going to be a way to even, even more define what that blog post was about. So that way, if somebody ever goes to your blog site, let's, let's, let's go to the blog site real quick. This is my website, okay? Somebody ever goes here, and they go to this little search bar, and they were to type in something like, buying a house. Oh, I got a better example. Hold on. Is that still rolling? Hold on a second. Okay. Instead of that, we're going to do pool, uh, pools. There's something I'm working on for that. Okay. So somebody wants to find out what pools are available in Las Vegas. So they type in that tag pools. Well, what happens is any blog post that you have that you have tagged with pools is going to show up um, on this search bar here. 
um, or in the title, Beautiful Mansions with Pools. In fact, I used the wrong tag that I'm working on. It's, I think it's actually Swimming Pools. Let me see. I'm going to look because <laughs> I keep guessing and I'm not sure. So here's my best pools. Let me edit the post so I can see what the tag is. Go down here, tag. Las Vegas pools. Okay, sorry about that. So I'll show you what this looks like. Let's scroll down here to my search bar. Las Vegas pools. So what I did is I created, um, I'm still getting the same stuff. I created this blog post called Best Pools in Las Vegas. Okay. Now that is the parent page. Now Planet Hollywood Pleasure Pool has its own page. Bally's Las Vegas Pool is its own page. Paris Las, or its own post. Paris Las Vegas Pool. And then I'm tagging each one of those with Las Vegas Pools. And once I'm done, when somebody goes in and types in that tag, all of these will show up in that cat in that tag. A tag can actually rank on the search engines. So the concept is I want to rank for Las Vegas pools. So um, and now that I'm thinking about that out loud, I really should change that to that tag to best pools, best pools. So if somebody were to type in best pools or public pools or one of those tags, and I've got all these tags that way, when somebody does a search, these will all show up. And that tag, best pools, might actually rank rank on the search engine. And when somebody clicks it, it'll come to the come to a page that's all, got all of those articles in it. Okay. So they come to my website and they want to find information about Summerlin and they do a search for Summerlin. And on here, they're going to get page titles that have Summerlin. So, oh, no, there we go. There's the tag up here. And so now they can look at this. And this is like a digest. It's like a digest of all of my blog posts or pages that are about Summerlin. So this tag can actually rank on Google by itself for the keyword Summerlin or Summerlin Real Estate or Summerlin Las Vegas or whatever. Okay, so it is important that we um, that we tag these correctly. Now, however, Las Vegas hotels, there's not a whole lot probably that I'm going to tag on here, but maybe I, I want people to to learn to, to I want this to come up when they look up um, let's see, I think I have a category under food. You you gotta kind of know which what your tags are. Um, we'll just go to choose from the most used tags here. Okay, so there's going to be information about pools on here. And I'm just starting this one. So I'm going to add probably add some more tags like um, uh, concerts and clubs and things like that so that they come up more appropriately. So you, I, I only want to put this in one category because I don't want it I don't want it multiple URLs with the same content, but the tags are a better way to define um, what else is on the page. And those tags really can rank well. Category can rank on the search engines as well, too. So there's a lot of SEO stuff going on here that's that's pretty cool. All right. Um, so we've done our title. We've done our sl we've done our slug. There's a lot more to do here. OK. Um, now we want to do, um, take this paragraph by paragraph and we're going to look at, um, images. Okay. So cosmopolitan Las Vegas jobs. All right. I use Shutterstock. Shutterstock is a copyright free, um, uh, subscription service. Pretty expensive, I would say. Um, Again, if you're buying your content from my marketing company, Ballon Brands, we're going to put all the images in there for you uh, without charging you extra. Um, and and I, I do have a link for this too. Lori's link, Lori's tools, there it is, Shutterstock. So you can try it out. So you can buy one photo at a time or you can buy a subscription to a certain amount of photos. Um, just be careful. Whatever photos you're using, make sure that they are um, copyright free and that you have permission to use them. Okay. All right, so cosmopolitan Las Vegas jobs. So I'm thinking about hotels. So I want something like a bartender or a server or a dealer or something like that. So I've already looked this up. I found a, a cute picture of a bartender here mixing drinks. Okay, so I would download that, which I've already done. And here I'm going to click where I want the photo, add media. And if my picture is already in there, I just click it 
and I'm going to insert into post. Okay. Now I can have that be full size and play with it there. Like I could center this so that that text isn't wrapping it around it. And then each spot will have a big picture above it. Let me show you what this looks like on mobile. If I were to shrink this down, ignore those error messages. We'll make those go away in a minute. Um, see how now it's just an image above the text. That looks great. So you can do that or you can have the text wrap around it. So let me show you what that looks like. So you click on the picture. We're going to resize it. And um, I'm going to custom size and make this one 600 by 400. And I'm going to update it. And I'm going to center it to the left. And I'm going to wrap the text around it. You see that? So it depends on what you want to do there. Now, we need to optimize the picture for the search engines and for the visually, uh, for blind, for the blind as well. Um, so we're going to click here and we're going to click edit this little pencil and caption will put words under the picture. Um, alternate, alter, alternative text is going to be where it's going to describe the picture for somebody that would be blind. So we could put young um, female is mixing drinks at a bar and is smiling, you know, that type of thing. Okay. Now your image title attribute is going to be where we, um, if, if they were to click on it, if they were to click on that image, what is the title of where they're going to be sent after that? So let's just say, this girl's mixing drinks, and if she clicks on that picture, we want her to go to another page on our website that's all about Las Vegas employment, Las Vegas jobs, okay? So we would go here, and we'd say link to, and we could say custom URL, and I could put in my, let's just say it's, I've got a Las Vegas jobs here or something, but for now, I'll just leave it at that. Um, here, I'm going to put um, learn more about Las Vegas jobs and I'm going to click update. Okay. Now we're going to look at the paragraph and I'm looking for any keywords that would be worth placing a link to another page or post on my website. Um, that would be somewhere if they wanted to learn more information, they might click. These are called internal links. And they create a quality user experience because it gives the user something to do, gives them somewhere to go before they get bored. Um, it's also good for Google because it's easier for navigation, for them to understand what, it, what your concept is from page to page, you know, how the website all flows. Um, and so I'm looking, so to find a job, looking online, type in a business name, see what comes up. You might want to know the people who work there, call human resources. Okay, so here's a link already. It links to careers. Now, I want this to open in a new tab or a new window. So I'm going to click on this little pencil. I'm going to click on link options, and I'm going to open that in a new tab. And the difference is, if I didn't have it open in a new tab, they literally leave this web page when they click there. Well, I want them staying here, and any other little links that I click, especially if they're outside links, linking to outside websites, I want it to open in a new tab or a new window. Okay? So I don't see any obvious other keywords there, so that's fine. Now, here... For quality user experience, I am going to insert a divider. What that divider is going to do is going to put this little like break, this little line to break here, and it's going to have a little back to the top option. And the reason I'm doing that is because this, this blog post is already 2,000 words long. And right after I wrote, uh, I got this content this morning, I, I realized I also wanted all the restaurants listed. So I ordered another thousand words on restaurants. So I'm going to add those. And I bet I'm going to keep doing this um, until this page ranks number two on Google, which is my goal. And so I'll probably be adding to this. Well, when you're looking at 2,000 words, especially on a mobile device, oh my gosh, you got to have some really good navigation because people get bored quickly. So with a table of contents and this little break, this little line that has the back to the top, 
It gives them somewhere to go. It reduces bounce rates, creates a, more, a better quality user experience. And the better the user experience is, the more Google is going to raise me up on the, on the search engines. And they do measure all of that with their rank brains, measuring all the clicks on the page. You know, how many pages do they look at? How many actions do they take? Do they comment? Do they download? Do they click through on your pictures? Do they play the videos? All of these things are, are measured, okay? So we're going to put in a, um, a, a break uh, I mean, not a, a break, um, a, a divider here. And I use uh, a plugin called Short Codes Ultimate, which I love. And I'm going to go up here and I'm going to do Insert Short Code. And all I have to do is go to Divider. And it's already matching my theme. So there's nothing special I need to do. But if you wanted to play with it and make the divider bigger or smaller, there's something here called a Live Preview. And you can play with what that divider looks like. So when I change this, you can see that that little preview is going to change. Okay. So if I want that link color to change and I want it to be blue instead, there it is. Okay. Now it'll reload the preview. See how it changes that go to top there? It makes that blue. So you can play with your with the lines. You can play with the whatever. You can have it match your theme. That divider doesn't have to be gray. If your colors are gold, you know, red and black, then that divider can be black or that divider can be red. You can play with it. You can play with it. Do you want it to be dotted, dashed, double lined? Um, you can change this to, to say top of page or whatever it is that you want. And then you can save it. So you can go right here to presets. Save current settings as a preset and type in there divider. And then you've always got this in here to pull from. Insert short code. There's your short code. Now, to you this looks funny, doesn't it? That, that gibberish right there. But let's click preview so I can show you what that code turns into. Scroll down. There's our image. There's that page break or that um, it's not officially a page break. There's the divider. Then when they click there, click go to top, it scrolls right back up to the top of the page. Okay? Love the dividers. Love, love, love. Now, what I can do really quick now is I can just take that divider, I'm going to copy it, and I'm just going to go ahead right now and put that in between every paragraph. So whenever that visitor gets bored, wants to scroll back up to the top and find my table of contents or the homes for sale widget or whatever that whatever it is maybe they can click one button instead of scroll 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 let me tell you 2000 words plus on a mobile device is a lot of scrolling you don't want them having to do that okay so let's go ahead and go to preview now the nice thing typically with wordpress is it's saving our work in the background so I don't have to keep clicking save, 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 save. But if once I do a lot of work, sometimes I will go in and do that. See how nice that looks? Now, as we go in and add more content, links, and images, you're going to see how much even better that looks. So look at this on mobile. Let's shrink this down. So look at this on mobile. So those words start stacking. Isn't that nice? I just love this. I just think it's so clean and such a great user experience. I'm all about the user experience. Okay. So next... Um, let's look at, let's go back to our edit. Okay. Um, we'll do our emojis one by one as we go through each paragraph. Okay. So I'm pretty much done with that first paragraph at this point. There's nothing else I want to put extra later again. If I think, okay, I really want to rank for a cosmopolitan. Um, I, I'm, I'm number four. I need to do more. I might go in there and add more to the jobs paragraph. And then the second week I'll go in and add more to the, co the restaurants paragraph. And third week I'll go add to something else. But for now, let's stick with this, okay? So now we're going to do Cosmopolitan Las Vegas restaurants. Now, just so that you know, I already ordered. Let's go back to crowd content. Um, go back to the dashboard. I already ordered restaurants. Let me see if it's done. It's not done. It's being written. So what I ordered here was another set. Um, I want a 1,000 words breaking down all of the restaurants. Um, and I listed them. I went to the website already and got them all, and I ordered them with H2 tags, just like we did on video three, I believe it was. So those are coming. So that's even going to make this blog meatier. So for right now, we're not going to mess too much with that. But let's go ahead and put a picture in here. 
So I've already gone to stock photos and I've, I've picked a photo I like. So I'm going to go ahead in here and we're going to add a picture, add media, insert into post. I'm going to shrink this one down. I'm going to do the same thing. Okay. Right now I'm not going to have it link anywhere. Group of friends are smiling, enjoying themselves, dining at a local restaurant. Okay, notice I'm not stuffing in keywords artificially. And it, it's kind of tricky because um, like Yoast, the plugin, and some of those plugins will tell it, will, will not give you a green dot or the right score if you don't put your keyword in the image tags. Well. If the keyword applies, go ahead and do it. So I could I could assume this is a cosmopolitan restaurant. Now, where did my... So what I could do is go in and edit this, um, dining at the cosmopolitan. Cosmopolitan Las Vegas. If it's natural, it makes sense. It's believable you can put the keyword in there, but don't stuff it in there artificially. Make, and you definitely don't want it in every single photo if it doesn't apply. So now we can align left, we can align center. In this particular case, I want to go opposite of the one above it. I'm going to align it right. Okay. Now let's preview so I can show you what these look like. Okay, that picture's not aligning right, it's not looking right. Did I make it 600? Yeah, so what you we could do, you can actually just grab the corner and just resize it a bit. You know, I'm going to make this one full size. I really don't like how it's laying, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to go back to full size, and I'm going to center it. Okay, and now I'm going to preview it. I'm thinking I may make every picture like that. I play with it until I'm happy. Nah, that looks good. I'm happy with that. Wrapping the first one. Second one's a full one. I like that look. Okay. All right. And so um, I'm going to take a look at that and see. So browse a selection of restaurants as well as lounges and bars. Visit. Now let's make this a... Open a new window. Open a new tab. Okay. Um, different types of cuisine. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna have this big list of restaurants here anyway. So there's nothing I need to do special there. Okay, now Cosmopolitan Las Vegas buffet. So I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna type in buffet into Shutterstock, and I'm gonna find a picture that I like, and I want it to look like kind of like a hotel buffet. This looks pretty darn close. I'm gonna take that one. So I'm going to make this a medium download and I'm going to click download, download. I have a team subscription so that more of my team can be on here at one time. So we don't get, we don't all get booted off. Come on, baby. It's downloading. I have so much open right now too. usually much much faster every now and then lately yep sorry we're having trouble with this download please try again I'll get it back hold on buffet every now and then I have to see this happen with Shutterstock let me just pick this one instead medium download download Doesn't want to give me buffet images today, huh? You know, it's interesting when you see these kind of things because this is real deal. This is this is every day. This is you're gonna always be running into some sort of little 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 hiccups and and things. And this is this is what you have to allow in your time. Um, I wonder if this has a hotel buffet. You'll have to allow for time for looking up pictures, for getting things to work correctly, getting things to download correctly. Such a pain 
but that's just technology for you. Oh, that's pretty. I like that one even better. Almost glad that happened. Let's try this again. Medium, download, download. Give it to me this time. If it doesn't give it to me this time, we're going to keep going and I'm going to I'm going to come back for these images in a minute. Cuz maybe they're just hiccuping over there for some reason. Okay, let's give it a minute. Let's keep looking at our links here real quick. We're going to come back. I don't know why that's happening, so we're going to come back. So let's look at um, okay, cause of policy. So it's all about the wicked spoon. It's got costs. Okay, parking ten dollars a day. Now, you when I'm writing real estate articles, every one of these paragraphs just about has some sort of link. So, like for example, if I'm right, if this is about escrow and I'm talking, or I'm talking about, you know, when you make what happens to make an offer on a house, and somewhere in here it says open escrow, I would be highlighting that and linking that to a page on my website that's about escrow. And in this particular case, I don't have, there's nothing to link to, so it doesn't make any sense to link these to anything if they don't actually need to go anywhere, okay? Um, Cosmopolitan has a variety of different lounges, bars, and clubs where people can socialize. Okay, so um, uh, let's see, Marquee Nightclub. I know I, I know I did a blog post on that one, so let me highlight that one. Marquee Night Club and Day Club is a pool club. Now, all I have to do is go up here, click this little link, and I'm going to start typing in Marquee. And what it's doing now is it's searching my WordPress website for an article that I've written already on Marquee. And I did, and it's in this right here, Cosmopolitan Las Vegas Pool. So all I have to do is click that. Now, if I wanted to open in a new window, I'm going to click on this little wheel and open in a new tab update. Now you see how that link is there? That's that's really good. That's what I was looking for to show you something like that. Okay, now I also have an article that's all about getting married in Las Vegas. So see here where we have Cosmopolitan Las Vegas weddings. We're writing information about weddings. Now here would be a good chance to include a related article. So right here I'm going to put people also ask how do I get married in Las Vegas? already got that article written. Type in a keyword to help find your article. How to get married in Las Vegas. Click the little arrow. Oh, open a new tab. Okay. Let's check if our buffets are working yet. Usually if there is a hiccup, they're fixed pretty quickly. It's not like an all-day thing. Okay, still working on it. Uh, okay, Cosmopolitan Las Vegas Spa. Hmm. Do I have anything on best spas? Let me see something. Spa. That might be homework for me. Spa. I need to make a, pa a page all about spas. I don't think I have one. Okay, so this would be where I would send myself an email. Um, do article on best on um, spas in Las Vegas. Okay. Now, if you're using um, article software, uh, article software like um, content management calendar, I have those two, some of those two, um, like co schedule or something, I would go in there and open it up and actually create an order to um, create that content. But that was a quick, easy way. Right now, I'm gonna email myself so I don't forget myself. Forget while I'm making this video for you guys. Okay. Oh, come on, Shutterstock, catch up with us here. This is very unusual. This is the. I mean, it's 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 not unusual to have these little tech issues, but it's unusual that um that I would ever have a problem with multiple images on Shutterstock. One image at a time happens where they can't don't download it, and I'll just pick a different one. But this is really unusual. So let me try again. Medium, download. Got it. Okay, there we go. 
So I'm going to save this one as Las Vegas Buffet at Cosmopolitan. Okay. Of course, you can always send your photographers out to take real pictures. Those are great. You can also use pictures from the Cosmopolitan and give a link back and credit credit back to them for that use of that image. Um, but it can get sticky. So I tend to pull stock art so I don't have to worry about it. But um, so I'm going to do add media. Later, I might go back and look at what the, what the Wicked Spoon Buffet, I've never been there, what the spoon actually looks like. Um, and um, Buffet. Upload. Open. There we go. Um, and that way I can maybe make sure I have the picture that's most appropriate to how that specific buffet looks. Insert. Okay, let's make this one small and align right. Ah, I like it. Let's do a quick preview, see how we're doing here. So the, the trickiest part is making sure your images and your videos are where you like them and they look good. That looks good. Okay, so let me go back. Next one is parking. Did I get a, oh, I didn't get an emo emoji. Let me see if I can get an emoji here. Uh, buffet. What kind of food would be on a buffet? Um, let's just do food. Squid. <laughs> Burrito, potato. Oh, that was when we were trying to do the spoon. Let me see. Spoon. I have too many things open here. Okay, make sure this one's working. Those emojis, you never know which one is going to trip me up. So I just want to make sure that they're... Oh, see that met that that messed it up. Craziness, crazy bananas. I got to figure out why it's doing that because I don't. I'm not sure. Yeah, that's too big. It won't work like that. Has to be the little spoon. I need the little spoon. And it needs to be a heading two. Okay, now let's look at it. Oh, let me show you why we do that. I never did show you. Hold on. Oh, I'm ready to kick those emojis to the curb. It's just a pain. I'm not sure. I need to find a better, a better um, one that works better, and I'll come back to you and let you know which one I end up coming up with. But here's why I like it. If I were to go here and type in, let's see, cheap houses in Las Vegas. Um, which one was it? I have um, homes in Las Vegas with a pool. I'm trying to remember this morning which one I have the um, icon showing up with. Uh, snakes. All right, let me just show you this. This here um, is a featured rich snippet. This is mine. So I wrote an article about snakes in Las Vegas. This is a featured rich snippet. This is the best spot you could get on the page, and it's organic, unpaid. And um, this is called this is the zero position. You get that by creating content that Google believes is better than all other content um, and you mark up your website. You can get it without schema, but it's a best practice to apply schema to your website, which I'm going to show you how we do that at the end. And um, it, it's, there's a good chance if you use bullet pointed lists or pricing tables, um, like recipes, steps in a process, there's a good chance you'll get one of these rich, uh, featured rich snippets. But scrolling down here, you'll see that I have these links. This is also my website, same page. See these little, what kind of snakes? Rattlesnakes, the horned rattler, the Mojave rattlesnake. Those are coming from this table of contents. Okay, They're coming from the table of contents. That is why we do that. One of the reasons we do that too is to get those little site links. 
Well, those little emojis show up in those site links. And I, I just, this morning, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm um, you know what? Hold on. Google Search Console. I really want to show you because I just think it looks so good. Let me log in really quick. Okay, Valen Vegas. I have lots of lesson plans on all this stuff, um, including using Google Search Console, including optimizing your um, title tags for high click-through rate, which is what we're going to look at right here real quick. Okay, uh, position. I know they need to be in position one to three. There we go. Okay, let me see which one it is. Um, map of Southwest Las Vegas. I think that one's just going to give me my... See those? Those are site links. Those are coming from the table of contents. Um, buying a house, real estate market report, condos, poisonous snakes. Oh, buying a home in Las Vegas. That's got to be it. There they are. See the little emojis? So here's the SERP, the search engine results page. Here's the query, buying a home in Las Vegas. Here's sponsored ads. I'm the number one organic position. And look at the the little um, site links now have those little emojis. I just think that's fantastic. And I, I did a study and some of my click-through rates went up um, by over 50% um, when I added these, got these site links going. And so what I need to measure now is emoji versus non-emoji. But that's why I'm doing that. So that's, I just have to figure out the best way to do that. And I don't know yet because this is, I just started playing with it. So I'm not going to eat up all this video time with it. I just wanted to show you why we're doing that, okay? All right, Cosmopolitan Parking. Let's go to Shutterstock. Let's grab a picture of parking. Perfect. Image is now downloading. Parking in a Las Vegas hotel like the cosmopolitan. I don't want to say that is the cosmopolitan because it's not, but okay, so add my image. I don't have that sorted right now, so we'll click select file. Oh yes, yeah, so we also need to add in our alt text. We can do that from here or we can do it once the um, image loads. Cars in a garage at a hotel casino in Las Vegas. Insert. Now this one, maybe we'll just make this one center. Let me make sure that alt text showed up there. Yep, okay, there it is. All right, so there's that. Um, now we've got club. So here we would we would have something like um, nightclub. Oh, awesome. So let's take that first one right there. Medium download. Night club in Las Vegas. Okay, add an image, upload files, select files, get my night club. Where did it go? Didn't it download? There it is, nightclub. Group of people in a nightclub with drinks, doing a toast. Okay. I'll shrink this one down. And we'll do this one on the left. That one's fine. Now, here's where I might want to do another related article, okay? So on the right-hand side here, 
Yoast suggests other articles that I might want to link to that they believe are similar to this one in some in some respects. So they think the, the that a reader of this blog post might also be interested in something else. So there you can look at those. Up here, they're gonna they're suggesting my cornerstone content. Now I have another lesson plan all on with videos all on cornerstone content, how to create it, why to create it, how how to choose which is your cornerstone content. And then it'll it'll list those more frequently because you want to link to those more often and, and let that page rank flow from one page to the other, giving it a little more boost. Okay, so I might put here, um, you might also like 501 things to do in Las Vegas. So you could put one of those under every paragraph if you want. You could just drip them in there, here or there. Um, 501 things there we go whatever is appropriate okay uh, now we need one that's a wedding let me see if there's a hotel wedding awesome Ooh, I like that one let's go with that one I don't know why I like the ones I like by the way Sometimes it could just be personal preference. I, I, I just scan really fast. I don't spend a lot of time obsessing about which photos <laughs> I pull. Um, Las Vegas wedding. Okay. Edit post, cosmopolitan, add image, upload file, select file. Um, Another way to do this, by the way, is you could pre-select all of your photos and do that first. And especially if you're breaking this work up into different days. So on one day, you could choose all of your photos. Like let's say there's going to be 20 photos on that blog post. or Maybe there's only three. But you pick which ones you want and then um, download them all. And then you can upload it all, uh, upload all of them in one shot rather than waiting, doing it paragraph by paragraph by paragraph. You can actually upload multiple images at one time. And that might be a better, a more strategic way than when we're creating this kind of comprehensive content. Okay, insert post, insert images. Um, and you got to watch your images too. Depending on your hosting plan, images can really slow down your website. So if you're not downloading the right size, um, they, these can really slow it down. So at, at, after the blog post is done, I always check the speed. And I want my blog post to load in less than three seconds. I can't say they do every time. But there is a lot of data that backs up that for every, you know, after three seconds, you start losing um, visitors. And so you really want to watch that. So sometimes I'll go in and check, okay, how much video do I have in there? How many photos do I have in there? Let me change that out. Let me mess with that and try to speed it up a little bit. Um, if you need better WordPress hosting, if your website is loading and uh, taking a long time to load, it might have to do with your hosting. If you need better hosting, talk to my company at balanbrands.com. We do have complete hosting packages, backup plans. We update your plugins, you know, that kind of stuff. So check that out at balanbrands.com. All right, now we need a spa. Now I already have, um, well, it's okay. Let's just do it. Spa. That's good. I'm going with it. Medium download. Um, I also do try to uh, mix up, um, you know, different ethnicities um, on my blog post too. You know, if you don't, you want to, you want to show variety for everybody. Save as spa. So I'll make sure that I'm doing that. That's why I like pictures like this one that has um, people that could be from all different races in the picture. So Cosmopolitan Las Vegas Spa, add media, upload. Align right. You also don't have to have a picture on every paragraph either, by the way. Um, okay, we're getting there. We're close. Um, okay, Chelsea at Cosmopolitan. Let's do that one. Um, actually, let's put one of these pool ones in here. So I'm going to go to Add Media 
and I'm going to find one of these pool pics that I uploaded the other day. That one will work right there. I need to change the alt tag on that one. Hold on. Or the, um, yeah. Um, this one's going to be people in a pool at the Cosmo. Politan hotel drinking and having a good time. Okay, I'm not putting a link. Oh, I do need to put a link on that one. Yes, I do. Uh, let's link to best pools. Custom URL. Um, where is my best pools? Fallon. Best pools. Ah, best pools. I'm going to take that URL and I'm going to copy it right here. Now the image title. See a um, best pools in Las Vegas. See how the title is showing them where they're going. Update. Okay, good. Um, okay, now. We need, oh, let's do a casino picture real quick. Let's do a casino. That looks good. Let me just take that one. Medium, download, download. See, usually it's fast like this. I don't usually have a problem like we were having with those, but it does happen every now and then. Add media, upload, select files. Casino, casino, open. Okay. Um, now, what I don't see, let me go in here and put this one in between these two. Let's do here. Um, where is the Cosmopolitan? And then I might put something like address, phone, map. Heading to, and let's grab the address real quick. Move this over here, okay. Um, address and phone, address and phone, make sure there's no links here. Cosmopolitan, ad, uh, Las Vegas, address, Cosmopolitan, Las Vegas phone, I'm going to make those H3 tags only top one. Let's make this an H3, better for SEO. It'll line those in a second for me. And then let's grab the map. So here, what you do is if you just go to um, maps, I could do it from over there too, but I want to show you this way. Cosmopolitan Las Vegas. Make sure this map is not a personal map. Make sure this is the public map from Google because you don't want to have like a competing real estate agent map on there. Click share, embed map, and then just copy this iframe. Go back over to web page right here, and here's how you do it. We're going to put um, Google map. Actually, I'll, I'll do it the right way. Cosmopolitan Las Vegas map. Now, you can't just put it here or it'll show up like that. You have to access the HTML code. And what you do is you go up here to your WYSIWYG editor and you click on text. Then to find your spot, do Command F if you're on a Mac or whatever it is on a, on a PC. I can't remember. It's been so long. Control F. So we're going to do Find. And we're going to type in uh, map, the word map. Okay. Now here it is. Um, where did we type in Cosmopolitan Las Vegas map? Oh, right here. I see it. I'm sorry. Okay. 
and I'm going to paste that iframe right underneath it. Okay. That's all I did right here. It is right here. Again, I just found where I was going. I hit enter. So there's a space there and I paste that iframe. Now, if you click back to your visual tab and go down, you're going to see that map. Isn't that cool? And if you don't like the size of that, you can actually go back and change the code and make this like a full width map instead of that small little box, which is exactly what I would do. I'm going to go back and do it. Las Vegas map. And um, image size 600. I'm going to make this. Um, I think I need to make it 1,000 in my case. So let me go back to visual. There we go. Yes, I like that width. Okay, see how I do that? All right, um, now we want um, reviews. That was another one I showed you earlier. So let's make sure we put this one in here too. Cosmopolitan reviews. We're getting close guys. Now what you do is I go over to Yelp. You can also do Facebook. This is so cool. We're going to go over to Yelp. You know what we're going to do? We're going to end this video right here and I'm going to do the rest of this. Um, this was video four. We're going to do a fifth piece because it'll take too long to finish this out with schema. So um, this was good. This showed you how to add video, uh, I mean, how to add photos, how to add our internal links, how to add a map, um, how to add your dividers, how to create your table of contents. On the next video, we're gonna learn how to embed video, how to grab a Facebook post and embed it, and how to add Yelp reviews. Then we'll scroll down and we will, um, we'll cover Yoast, and we're gonna cover schema. Um, so to earn the rich snippets and we'll do that and wrap everything up in video number five.